As a teacher and a student, there's one concept that I feel comes up a lot that seems to be very complicated. And that concept is sacrifice. It's something that we have so many overtones of in religious sex, but how does it actually apply in modern times and in our lives? Sacrifice is actually something that's very, very easy to understand. We sacrifice in order to create life. That's all you need to know. So anything that you're giving up, anything you're giving away, anything that you're releasing, anything you're sustaining from, you are sacrificing in order to create life, in order to be a better person, in order to be a better version of yourself, in order to make room to receive something more, something different, something more modern, more of who you're gonna be in the future. If you were to create some sort of art project or write a book, what you are doing is you are pouring yourself into that object or into that project in that moment. That physical, tangible thing that you have created holds all of the frequencies for you at that moment. But three, four, five years later, Those are no longer your frequencies because you've continued to grow, continued to evolve, continued to be a new person. You continued to reincarnate within this incarnation over and over and over again, and you no longer resonate with those old projects, with those old books, with those old things that were created. But they've become stuck in time, crystallized in time, no longer able to change or become something different. They begin to rot. So what we do is we sacrifice those things. We allow the transformation to happen. Only through sacrifice does transformation happen. You're allowed to grieve what you no longer have, but don't suffer. Sacrifice is transformation. Sacrifice is creating life.